Hello everyone, just wanted to show everybody the difference between the standard installation of the ejector plate on a GSG-5 bolt and the upgraded, um, the, uh, the, the riveted installation on, uh, on uh, the newer models or the Generation 2 uh, GSG-5 bolts. Um, if you've got an older rifle or a couple of the Generation 2 um, uh, uh, rifle models as well, um, you're going to have a non-riveted extractor installation or ejector installation I should say and I'm trying to get the camera to focus I apologize um, let's see here get it to... okay you see there's three holes there the one in the middle um, there's a there's like a metal stud that comes up out of the bolt um, it through the injector plate and uh, and that's what holds it in place combined with the pressure of the screws um, after a couple thousand rounds uh, it's gonna come loose uh, I've already I've already I've already noticed this coming loose um, as you can see there's like a small gap between the ejector plate and the 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 bolt uh, itself so um, I'm gonna be sending this into to uh, to be repaired um, I'll give you the information at the end of the video as to like who you need to contact and uh, and and how you can make arrangements um, if you have a newer model check um, if you've got a pistol check um, what you should see on the upgraded the upgraded model is that there's like a little gold or, or a brass rivet Sorry, I can't get the camera to focus on it. Let's see. There you go. There's a brass, there's a, there's a, a brass rivet, excuse me, that goes through the ejector plate. And you can kind of see it there. There we go. That's what it should look like. And uh, um, if you've got that, you're in good shape. Uh, that ejector plate's not going to come off of there. Um, but, but if you do have the old style bolt um, installation, um, I'm going to give you the information of like, like who you need to contact and uh, get it sent off and get it repaired, and you should have uh, you should have years of uninterrupted, uh, trouble-free service from your GSG. So uh, I hope this helps everybody uh, uh, f figure out what what type of installation you have and if you need to get it in to be repaired.